we employ you to know that your responsibility from today going forward is to put an end to illegal taxes on people. We have a tax law here that prescribes those who are exempted from tax. All those categories of people and those that from time to time may be so announced by the government, including every single hotel that has less than 50 rooms in Calabar and in the whole state, today are exempted from payment of tax. We have exempted all Okada drivers, taxi drivers, airport taxi drivers. We have exempted small salon owners, small catering and restaurant points, mama put, eatery points, all those small, small basic survival people selling of produce, struggling to make a living. They have been exempted today from paying tax. We have exempted them because it is better for me as a governor that I rather task my brain than to tax my people. And great perseverance, you have the right for anybody who comes before you to demand tax. You have the right to say, stop, the governor has said we should not pay tax. Why will a small person carry banana from his farm to go and sell and produce people are there taxing him for produce? Why would somebody carry granite to go to market and somebody is putting a checkpoint on the road and collecting money from the granite seller? This is not Ben Ayade, this is not my nature. I am not wired for this insensitivity to a weaker person. I have abolished produce tax. Let farmers earn their money, let them keep their money. Because you didn't give them fertilizer, you did not irrigate the soil, you did not prepare the soil for them, you did not do the land clearing for them. Why do you want to tax them? Why do you put pressure on that, your small brother or sister, whose situation is much worse? Why would we expect that people who don't have scholarship for their children, who don't have good schools, they struggle to pay, struggle with the uniforms, struggle to have security in their small businesses, struggle to get water with their borehole, struggle with generator, and government is providing almost nothing to come back to such people and tax them. I, I think this is the greatest injustice. I never knew that five years into office as governor, I would still find somebody who could live in a tash house in Crossroads. I almost cried because I knew how prepared I was, but it, it didn't end the way I had dreamt for the state. I, I just think that somewhere God will just help me because I really wish I could really here. Yeah. I really wish I could help. It's very painful, truly, truly. I can't put five years and I've not been able to do the change I wished. I know of some small people whose businesses are closed because even after I signed in into law that they should stop collecting tax, I still find people giving political appointment for a completely different thing. And you see them go back to these same people and dragging them and seizing and closing their shops and taxing. If we have to pay tax, let me contact the anti-tax agency. They will give us a task of whether we fall under the category of those to pay tax or not. So your vehicles, your public life, your telephone numbers will be in the public domain because everybody must call you to clear whether they have to pay tax or not to pay tax. And so I pick only men of God and women of God to serve here. I charge you that by the time you are done, let your agency be a world-class example for other states and countries to emulate. If God sees into my heart, let him take every single wealth I have, if he can make every single cross rich. If he can take every single cross out of poverty, let Ben Ayade and the Ayades, let us be poor for cross to be comfortable. Let me see Calabar thrive again. And uh, this is part of my post-COVID-19 response.